Hi, now in this video, what I want to do is introduce you to this idea where if you've got a complex number, z equals x plus i y say, then the complex conjugate z star, which equals x minus i y, is a reflection of z in the real axis on an argon diagram. And the best way I can demonstrate this is just to run through a couple of very basic examples. Let's suppose we took the complex number z equals 3 plus i. Then the complex conjugate, let's say z star, although some of you might use z with a bar over the top, that would be equal to 3 minus i. And if you were to plot these on an argon diagram, you get something like this. z equals 3 plus i, 3 across in the real direction, and one unit up in the imaginary direction. And you can see the complex conjugate 3 minus i is a reflection of z in the real axis. Similarly, it works in all quad quadrants. You could take, say, z equals minus 5 minus 2i. And the complex conjugate here, z star, would be equal to minus 5 plus 2i. And so all this is doing is just showing you that you'll get exactly the same effect whatever quadrant you're in. You've got z equals minus 5 minus 2i. And then if you reflect that in the real axis, you've got the complex conjugate minus 5 plus 2i. So I hope it's given you an idea then on this very straightforward idea. Now in the next video, I've got an example that uh, just takes this a little bit further. Um, it really just revises earlier work. So you might like to give that a try.